Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Welcome to our 13th episode of swatching 10 CMD shellac colors, similar shellac colors according to CMD chart. And this is number 13 and it's an unlucky one because we couldn't find the colors. So there was quite a few I had to wait for. So we had to wait two months and I'm still missing one, which is this one, Masquerade. But I have a spike instead, which is apparently similar. First of all, CMD, guys. Let me know if this is easier to read. So when we're looking at the colors, they all look the same, almost kind of, right? But the reds are looking almost the same. So it's really important that we have the names on the front. Yes. So much easier. Okay, so we're going to turn them around and uh, read the names. Berry Boudoir, Butterfly Queen, Vivian's, Signature Lipstick, Bloodline, Spike, Cherry Apple, Oxblood, oh, Crimson Sash, and Arrowhead. So we're going to swatch these colors on these wonderful nails that we already applied base coat on. And we cured it in a CND lamp and we used the CND base coat. This is Berry Boudoir. This is the first time I'm using it. I have to say I absolutely love the the new brushes. They make our life so much better. Mm -hmm. They grab just the right amount of product. Okay, other than the little fluffy, this is really, really nice application. It's kind of a smoky purple, no? It's a dusty purple. Okay, second coat. Okay, this is, this is going to be very dark. So it's almost like an eggplant. But like a warmer eggplant. <laughs> I'm so good at describing colors. This is fantastic. Really, really good. A butterfly queen. I really don't know how this color kind of made made it here in between these dark reds. Because I would put it in between like the fuchsia pinks. Because this actually looks very good over fuchsia solid color. Okay, and by the way, this color, Butterfly Queen, goes very good over Ecstasy, looks really good over Ecstasy, and even better, Magenta Mischief. They're both really, really good colors with a very good formula. Let me show you very quickly, a little off topic. I just used this one today. It has an amazing formula with a bit of a purple flash and Magenta Mischief. This is fantastic too. I have to say I would use this one as a, well, I always use this one as a topper. But actually it covers in two coats. The nice thing about these glittery polishes is that because they're gel polish, they're not going to dry very bumpy. This is actually better than I thought. Okay, the next one is Vivian. This is similar to the, the new spring 2022 color. Okay, cure. Second coat of Vivian. I find this color, I mean, all the colors, but this color in particular, you really have to make sure you mix it properly. It tends to settle a little bit.
let's see how the violet rays looks next to it. Very similar, no? Mm -hmm. This is a little bit more purple. This is a little bit more berry. Signature lipstick. Gorgeous. Wow. Kind of similar to cherry apple. We're going to compare it later because we're going to be doing cherry apple on the other hand. Wow. This really, really reminds me of Rouge Noir. That's what it is. It's that glossy dark vampy this is perfect this is not even my bottle i borrowed this from my sister because i don't own this color but i am ordering in this color for sure because it's this is a must-have this is bloodline this is also a new color for me i just purchased it Okay, so it's like a true dark red. I would say it's on a cooler side, but it's quite neutral. The formula seems to be absolutely fantastic. I should stop saying absolutely fantastic. Wow. Wow, I'm so glad about this. Okay, this is stunning. Very, very good. Fantastic formula, great application, beautiful color, must have. And this is Spike. I think it's close to Masquerade, apparently. Yeah. Wow, the formula is really, really good. This is like a one coater. Wow. Second coat of, I wanted to say masquerade, spike. Yeah, our locker supplier doesn't have masquerade, so showing you this one instead. Wow. Mm -hmm. Next one we're going to do is cherry apple. And I think cherry apple was limited edition, but they now are including it in their full line. And I'm very, very happy about it because this is a really, really good color. It's a deep red on the cooler side, but it's actually quite neutral. It's also very glossy. This is a little bit lighter version of the signature lipstick. So if you want the nails to kind of show up from a distance a little bit more red, like a vampy but still red, then this is the color for you. Love it, absolutely love it. And this is Oxblood.
You know what? This one is very similar to the cherry apple. And I have to say that the brush makes it so much better. Yeah, this is super, super similar. So this is also dark red on the cooler side. I don't see a big difference between this one and this one. This one is darker, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but these two, and this one is lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But these two, yeah. they look the same. Crimson Sash. This is a beautiful, beautiful color that has a really nice glow to it. It's kind of a shimmery glow. By the way, we're going to take some quick videos and pictures outside to show you how they look in in natural lighting. So stay for that. Mm -hmm. Stay for that. They're going to be at the end. Okay, here. This is also almost like a one coater. This one also has a very good formula. It's pretty much one coater. It does have like a hint of brown, like it's a it's a much warmer red. Stunning. Mm -hmm. And this is Arrowhead. So I don't know how this color made it to this lineup. It doesn't really go. So I used this color on one of my clients because she was kind of brave one time because she always wore reds. So she chose this one. Okay, our neighbors are having a party. I hope you guys don't hear it. And then she came in the next time and she said that her husband said that this color looked poopy. <laughs> and this is the second coat of Arrowhead. Kind of looks more chocolatey than poopy. <laughs> Guys, please let us know in the comment section if you think this color is poopy. Let us know what your favorite color is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's cure this. Okay, so this is it for this video. And we are going to take some pictures and quick videos outside to show you how they look in the different lighting. So stay for that. So stay for that. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. But before, almost forgot to compare so these two look very similar so this is the berry boudoir although this one is much more purple and a signature lipstick which is absolutely a must-have it's a dark really dark red that looks like chanel rouge noir and i'm going to show you rouge noir it is rouge noir right mm -hmm. amazing and then these two, in my opinion, I couldn't tell them apart. Same. Yeah. This might be a little bit cooler, but not much. This one doesn't look like anything else. No. Okay, let's take some uh, videos outside and we'll say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again in our next video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Ciao. It's really, really bright here, so I'm not sure if you guys can see it. This is Berry Boudoir. Stunning. Wow. Oh, this looks so good. On its own, wow. I've never used it on its own. Butterfly Queen. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. <laughs> Vivian. This is must have. It's a signature lipstick. Rouge Noir dupe. Yeah, Rouge Noir dupe. Incredible. Fantastic. Must have. Buy it. This is another. Actually, this color looks much lighter in on the camera right now. But this is Bloodline. It's a little bit darker. It's incredible. I highly, highly recommend this one. This is Spike. 
that is very close to masquerade and this looks a little bit warmer here it's a little bit cooler in real life cherry apple really really good and oxblood they both look very very similar i don't really see a difference between the cherry apple and oxblood please see and put the names on the front crimson sash crimson sash it has a nice golden glow and this is arrowhead one of my clients husband called it poopy so let us know if you think it's poopy